In this video, we'll be focusing on solving the physics problem of IB Physics Topic 1. So this is for an HL student, and this is paper 1 question. The volume, of, uh, the volume V of the cylinder of radius R in high H is given by um, V is equal to pi R square H. The volume of the cylinder was measured with an uncertainty of 10%, and the height was measured with an uncertainty of 6%. What is uncertainty in the radius of the cylinder? To solve this problem, we need to uh, move the radius r on the left left hand side. So radius is equal to volume divided by pi um, divided by pi, and then you need to take the squ the square root. And now we can calculate the percentage uncertainty. So volume has an uncertainty of 10%. Um, high has an uncertainty of 6%. And because we have a square root, we need to multiply um, by a half. So this will give you an answer of 8%, which is D. So remember, always add up um, percentage uncertainty. Two links A and B are measured to be 51 plus and minus 1 and 69 plus or minus 1, respectively. In which of the following quantity is the percentage uncertainty largest? So this one is a little bit tricky. So you want to calculate the largest uh, percentage uncertainty. And you know um, percentage uncertainty is equal to fractional uncertainty divided by um, I mean, over the absolute uncertainty. So if you want the largest, you want the minimum absolute uncertainty and maximum fractional uncertainty. So here we know A multiplied by B is definitely greater than A divided by B. And they have the same fractional uncertainty. So we know C is not possible. And same with a plus b and a minus b. a plus b is definitely greater than a minus b. But both of them has a uncertainty of plus or minus 2. Um, because here. Um, for addition and subtraction, you add up the uncertainty together. So we know a plus b must be wrong. So now you only have b and c. I mean b and d. So how do we solve the problem? So um, for b, a minus b, the best estimate is going to be equal to 51 minus uh, 42, which is equal to 2. And for d is equal to um, 51 over 49, which is approximately equal to 1 point something, right? And the fractional uncertainty for um, b is equal to 2. So the percentage uncertainty is going to be equal to 2 over 2, which is equal to 100%. And we know this must be the maximum volume, so b is the correct answer. Um, you can also check with answer d, so the fractional uncertainty is going to be equal to 1 over 51 plus 1 over 92. I'm just going to do a, a approximation. So 1 over 50 is equal to 0 0.02, um, so 0 0.04. 0 0.04 over, let's say this is 1.1 or something, is definitely less than 100%. So B is the correct answer. What is the correct volume for the charge? on an electron. So it was 0 0.9 times 1 to the negative 19 coulomb. Um, for micro coulomb, you need to um, times 10 to the negative 6. So A is not correct. For B, you need to times 1 to the negative third power, uh, which is also not correct. For C, uh, you need to multiply by negative 3. So C is the correct answer. 
I'm sorry for B. I think I said it wrong. For B, you need to multiply by ten to the negative、uh, negative six power. And for D, you need to multiply by ten to the six power. A ball is thrown、um, at a velocity u at an angle of fifty five degree above the horizontal. Which of the following is a magnitude of the horizontal component of the velocity? So this is the initial velocity u, and a degree of fifty fifty five degree to the horizontal. So you want to calculate its、uh, horizontal component. So we know this by using trigonometry is going to be equal to u cosine、um, theta, which is equal to u cosine fifty five degrees. Ah,、uh, if you want to calculate the vertical component, it's going to be equal to u sine fifty five degrees. So the answer for this one is going to be a. Which of the following expresses a unit of capacitance in terms of fundamental unit? So capacitance is equal to charge over voltage, and charge is equal to current times、uh, change in time, and voltage is equal to work done by an electric field. So、uh, we know electric field is also equal to electric force over the test、uh, divided by the test charge. So now we can calculate. Uh, we can know the fundamental unit of capacitance. So, current has a fundamental unit of ampere. Time has a fundamental unit of second. Force has a fundamental unit of newton, which is equal to kilogram times meter per second square. And then distance has a fundamental unit of meter as well over charge. So charge is equal to current times time, which is equal to Ampere times second.、Right. So now we can simplify the equation. So this is equal to ampere over second times kilogram、um, times meter with the power to the,、uh, to the second power times second with the power of negative three and times ampere with the power of negative one. Uh, and you can simplify this equation again. So this is equal to ampere ampere square times second to the fourth power、uh, times meter with the power of negative two and kilogram with the power of negative one. So the answer will be A.